The moment we hit the battlefield, the air got thick and the stench of burning metal seared my nostrils. Our suits hissed as they pressurized, locking us in. The horizon was nothing but a collage of the wreckage and smoke, remnants of the skirmish that had misfortune to precede ours. My ears pick up the distant thunder of artillery, the symphony of chaos playing in the background. We were berserker battalions, jean-jacked and wired to snap like a damn spring. The brass said it was an upgrade, a gift to humanity. All I felt was a cold tingle, something primal scratching beneath my skin. The rumor mill had it that the other species were piecing their collective scales at the mere mention of us. I sighted my squad mates, faceless in their armors, eyes hidden behind the reflective visors. The chill of camaraderie brushed against the edge of my consciousness, drawn by the adrenaline pumping in my veins. The colonel barked orders over the comms, but my focus was on the horizon, the enemy, some insectoid rays scuttled into view, their chittering language echoed in the air. The berserker serum didn't care about the odds, it didn't care about diplomacy or strategy, it only knew rage, a raw untamed force. The trigger was a flick and the world turned red, my vision narrowed, sounds muted to a distant hum, I saw moment not faces, life, not individuals. The first clash was a blur, limbs flailing and the weapons clashing. My fists hammered in the chitinous exoskeletons and I felt satisfying crunch through my gloves. The stink of the insect blood mixed with the metallic tank of my own sweat. Bodies dropped, mine included, but the berserker didn't flinch. It didn't feel pain, just the sweet release of fury. The ground quaked beneath my boots as I surged forward. The enemy's desperation reeked. A full odor that lingered in the air. I couldn't hear the pleas or screams. My world was a symphony of violence. Gunfire painted the air with the streaks of light and the battlefield became a heart of destruction. The colonel's voice buzzed in my ear. My squad fell in line, their armor smeared with an alien ichor. I caught a glimpse of my own reflection that cracked wiser. Eyes wild, teeth bared and the stench of violence clung to us. We pressed on, an unstoppable force, or so they say, but I could sense it, the toll, the price we paid for the untamed power, the camaraderie, the brotherhood, was a distant echo, the faces of my squad mates were as alien as the enemies, we were monsters, unleashed upon the galaxy. As we pushed deeper into enemy lines, the world outside of Berserker's haze started to seep through, the moans of the wounded, the whimpers of the dying, it clawed at the edges of my consciousness, but the serum held tight, refusing to let go, I was a puppet, strings pulled by fury. I crushed aliens, their once disciplined ranks now shattered, their chittering replaced by desperate cries. I could not understand what they say, but I felt the weight of the feet in the air, the stench of surrender. And then, just as quickly as it started, the berserkers haze lifted. The world snapped back in focus, the screams and moans filling the void left by the rage. The ground was littered with bodies, ours and theirs, the cost of victory measured in a stench of death.